what it do what it do guys welcome to my channel making beats for fun we're going to be using other native instruments machine or reason today we're going to try and make a little yeti get dripped type beat this is how it sounds let's hear it and then i'll just break it down the instruments and the sounds i've used so it's 130 bpm let's hear it first this is heat you got m on the beat started at 130 BPM that was the tempo this is so I'm using uh, the hardware and the software for this particular track I've got an 808 some drums a plug sound some keys and my voice tag so we begin with the 808 it's uh, pretty much a 808 from one of the kits that I purchased other from um, modern producers or loop masters and it's quite straightforward a key so it's and then I've added a uh, filter and a compressor to the 808 so just a high pass filter and a compressor to the 808 to make it quite boomy quite a rugged 808 and uh, yep so there was a uh, keys being played and then uh, moving on to the drums I didn't use a kick in this particular beat I've had some uh, claps some hi-hat so I've got one clap almost a kind of a snare, the hi-hat, voice effect and more effects in there as well. So uh, all together it was the 808 instead of the kick with the claps and the hi-hat. So this is the drum beat. So together with the 808 it makes up the backbone of the track 130 bpm clap 
clap, clap, sort of a snare. So I've layered the two claps, hi hat, the effect, and then two more effects in there. So together with the beat with the 808. Ha, yeah. Whisper on the mic, yeah. made a beat and then moving on to the instrument I've used a uh, a plaque sound so using the VST it was the razor and the sound called or constants so I've started my track with the plaque sound and just the effect and then I drop my bass in the claps and then it builds up to just dropping the snares so that's the melody just played throughout the track if I solo it so yeah it was part of the reactor razor VST in the sound word constants and then I laid it up with a key sound from Reactor again, Spark VST called Crystal Ball. And in the beginning, so I've had. That's the keys being played. Laid on top of the plaque sounds. Bass and the claps drop. And then I take away the key sound. I drop the. Yeah, and lastly was just the voice tag that I have. So if you're making music, make sure you add your your voice tags. This is heat. You got M on the beat. And then when the hi hats drop, I add a uh, it's like open hi hat but reverse. So it's. Just play the offbeat for the hat reverse. So yes, it's 130 BPM. You've got your different sounds over here. You can add just below it. You can add your effects. It will just aff uh, affect that particular sound. If you wanted to add some mastering when you go to the mastering I've added compressor saturator and a limiter just to beef up the sound uh, yeah that's just the 808 that I've added the saturator and the limiter the drums I haven't uh, done much for the claps and the hi-hats the same with the keys and the pluck sound I haven't really done anything to add effects but my mastering just this to beef it up you got with some compression saturation to control the EQs and the limiter. So I think we'll leave it for here for now. So it was a little yachty type beat called Get Drip. The trap style. I'll leave it to you guys so you can recreate this type of beat in any software. You can recreate it in Reason. You can recreate it in Fruity Loops in Logic. It's uh, the same sort of rules. You start off with your, your tempo. Just make sure you have the right drum sounds. My claps, hi-hats, 808s. And then your sounds. Play around and see if you can find the right sound for your, for your keys. 
and we'll leave it there for now I've got my other channel official DJ Swift but I'm just gonna try and uh, make some tutorials for this uh, channel called making beats for fun so I don't take it too seriously just try and have fun and see what you guys can come up with and yes see you next time